from the planet's largest snakes to the sharks with the most powerful bite to fish that look like Dracula. Here are the Amazon's most ferocious animals. Number 10. First up on our list is the green anaconda. It is the heaviest and largest snake in the boa family and in the world. The green anaconda can grow up to 30 feet long, weigh up to 550 pounds, and be a foot in diameter. They can live up to 10 years, and the females are significantly larger than the males. These snakes live in the swamps, marshes, and streams of the Amazon rainforest. They're a little clumsy on the ground, but in the water, they're smooth criminals. Their eyes are located on top of their heads just like an alligator's, which allows them to attack their prey with lightning speed. To achieve their massive size, they eat large mammals such as pigs, deers, caimans, and even jaguars. These are non-venomous snakes, but that doesn't mean they aren't eminently dangerous. After they capture their victim, they'll coil around the doomed creature and use their powerful body to asphyxiate them to death. Then, when the prey is good and dead and ready to be eaten, they swallow it whole. After a feast, the anaconda can go weeks and sometimes months without food. Number 9. The black caiman is one of the largest alligators in the world and one of the most fearsome predators to ever terrorize those on the lower end of the food chain. As the name says, these reptiles have a dark, almost black body which is covered with hard scales that act as armor. When the caiman is hungry, pretty much everything is on the menu, including otters, deers, and sometimes anacondas, and even other caimans. Their teeth are designed to grab, but not to tear victims into pieces. Ipso facto, they have to swallow their food whole after drowning it. Caimans have an excellent sense of hearing and eyesight, which makes hunting a breeze. These black caimans have ridiculous jaw strength. They can crack open a turtle shell like a freaking cashew. They move smoothly in the water using their flat tail for swimming, which helps them to reach speeds of 30 miles an hour. When it comes to taking down other animals, this gator doesn't need aid. Number eight. Yellow, gold, copper, red, green, blue, or black. The poison dart frogs have a variety of radiant coloring, but you should admire them from a distance. These frogs are really small, smaller than the size of your fingernail, but big things come in small packages. I went straight to Google to find out if the tiny poison dart frog can kill you. The answer from the almighty search engine was, one drop of toxin from a poison frog will will kill you within three minutes and there is no cure. There is no doubt that these frogs are one of the most toxic animals existing in the world. The most potent toxin within this frog family comes from the golden poison frog. A single golden poison frog has enough poison to kill 10 grown men. This poison is called batrachotoxin. It causes paralysis and death when it enters the bloodstream, even in small amounts. Some people think that frogs are boring but I find them riveting. Before we move on be sure to subscribe hit the bell button to get notified of new videos and we always appreciate a big thumbs up. Number seven the name comes from the Native American word yawar. Yawar means he who kills with one leap. The jaguar is the third largest cat in the world after the lion and the tiger. They can grow up to six feet long. Unlike many other cats, jaguars do not avoid the water. In fact, they are quite good swimmers. For any cat owner, that fact right there is the most mind-boggling of the entire video. Rivers provide lots of different kinds of food for the jaguar. These cats can see six times better than humans at night thanks to a layer of tissue in the back of their eye that reflects light. Jaguars also like to dine on the larger 
larger animals such as deer and tapirs. They sometimes climb trees and attack their prey from the sky like Batman. They're the hero the Amazon deserves. They usually finish their deed in one bite. Number six. Sharks can also be found in the Amazon. Bull sharks have been spotted leaping up river rapids like damn salmon so that they can reach inland lakes and all of their defenseless fish. Bull sharks get their name from their short, blunt snouts and also from their pugnacious disposition and a tendency to headbutt their prey before attacking. Don't they know that's 15 yards for helmet to helmet contact? Sounds like they're on the train to CTE City. This predator has the strongest bite of any shark whose jaw strength has ever been measured. This follows because these sharks eat everything from oysters to turtles and even each other when they're feeling perfidious. Growing up to 11 feet long, they are not the biggest sharks out there, but as far as danger levels go, they are in the same group with great whites and tiger sharks. These are the three species most likely to attack humans. Even though shark attacks are not common, this shark has been nicknamed the pit bull of the sea because of its aggressive behavior. Some say that this predator isn't anything to be worried about, but we at Board Badger know that that's complete bull shark. Number five. The bullet ant was named after its extremely painful stings. The pain is described as blinding electric pain comparable to being shot with a gun. The bullet ant has many common nicknames. In Venezuela, it's called the 24-hour ant because of the pain of the sting which can last a full day. The primary toxin in bullet ant venom is ponoroxetin. The venom produces temporary paralysis and uncontrollable shaking. It's bite can cause ailments like nausea, vomiting, or fever. So you better get your pumped up kicks and run faster than that bullet. Number four. Coming in at number four is one of the most dangerous and aggressive species of piranha the red-bellied piranha. Its teeth are razor sharp and their top and bottom teeth work together like terrifying scissors to dice open their food. Over their lifespan, they are constantly losing and regrowing their teeth, just like sharks. The word piranha means toothfish in a South American native dialect. Piranhas live in groups called shoal. These fish will travel in groups so that they can overwhelm their prey in a beautifully choreographed feeding frenzy. It's also a handy strategy for protecting from predators. When threatened, the red-bellied piranha will actually bark, which is weird. And if barking doesn't work, then they will join forces and take down the threat. Number three. Number three on our list is the Brazilian wandering spider, also known as arm spiders or banana spiders or genus Phenutria, which means murderous in Greek. This Amazonian spider is one of the most venomous spiders on planet Earth. Its bite can be deadly to humans and children are particularly vulnerable. After a wandering spider bite, you will likely experience initial symptoms such as severe burning pain, sweating, and goosebumps. Within 30 minutes, symptoms include high or low blood pressure, fast or slow heartbeat, nausea, abdominal cramping, hypothermia, vertigo, blurred vision, convulsions, and excessive sweating. So it's like after eating Indian food. The bite might also cause an extremely painful erection. <laughs> is there any other kind? I really need to get that checked out. Brazilian wandering spider's venom is a complex cocktail of toxins, proteins, and peptides. The venom affects ion channels and chemical receptors in victims' neuromuscular systems. These insects are called wandering spiders because they don't build webs at all as other spiders do. They wander on the forest at night, actively searching for food. They kill by both ambush and direct attack. These spiders spend most of their day hiding under logs and come out to hunt at night. They eat insects, 
other spiders, and even reptiles and mice. When threatened, they will raise their first two pairs of legs. This serves as a warning, indicating to predators that the spider is ready to attack and will wreck you with their venom. Number two. The green pit vipers are known for their extreme fangs, which are long, hollow, hinged, and rotatable. These are some seriously tricked out fangs. The fangs connect to venom glands located behind the eyes at the back part of the jaw. Venom travels down the teeth as it's injected into the prey as the viper bites. Vipers are able to extend their fangs and bite without injecting venom. This is known as a dry bite, and it's got to be super embarrassing for the male when his bite is dry. I swear this never happens. It's it's super common with snakes my age. Dry bites enable vipers to conserve their precious venom, which can run out and takes a while to replenish. So what happens if this snake bites? It will cause intense swelling, pain, and necrosis, which is cell death and decay. Not good, cells are important. It also functions as an anticoagulant. Death usually occurs from a dramatic collapse in blood pressure. Other than killing prey and injuring predators, viper venom helps vipers to digest their food. The venom is so strong, it actually breaks down lipids, acids, and proteins in the prey during the digestive process. Number one. Resembling more of a monster than a fish, it's not difficult to tell why they decided to call this fish the Vampire Piranha. Just take a look at those huge fangs jutting from that mouth. This creature's two large fangs on the lower jaw can grow up to six inches. Their upper jaw actually has holes so that those bottom teeth can fit into it. The whole fish can grow up to four feet long in the wild and weigh up to 40 pounds. They are extremely cannibalistic and aggressive predators. So simply put, they're some of nature's most vicious little bastards. And every year, there are reports of hyena attacks on humans up and down Africa. 95% of what hyenas eat comes from hunting and a pack of hyenas can devour an entire zebra in less than 30 minutes. I'm talking bones and all, everything gone. Board Badger.